Hey fellow collectors, today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite figures, Marvel Legends series Avengers War Machine. Now this is part of the Hulk line, even though he does not have any of the accessories for the Hulk. So on the side we have the War Machine, on the back we have the War Machine and a couple of his wave mates. So let me go ahead and pull it in so you can pause to read for your section. All right. Let's push Mr. Rody over here and we see the artwork again. So if I bring in my scale, we'll see that the war machine is coming in at 10.8 ounces. So let's get him off the scale and out of the box. Now here we have the war machine and we have a couple of accessories. Here we have this weapon here that attaches to his arms. We have this weapon here that attaches to the top of his shoulders. And then we have another weapon for his arms. Now the War Machine is a very, very bulky guy. Very cool looking. There's that military emblem. And this is the sixth version of the War Machine. Now you see mine has a little damage here. So I don't know what that's from. Oh, well, what can you do? So a very nice looking figure. Here we have these pieces that just have a little gap underneath them. They don't really fold out. I wish they did. And there's his boots. And the little tread on the feet. So very cool. Like I said, all you do is take these weapons here. And just insert into the holes. Put this in there. And this in here. So even if he has his repulsors going. Which he can't really lift up in this mode. He can have these guns going here. Now, as far as the war machine is concerned, this gun can rotate on a ball joint up and down, right and left. Not so much though, you'll pop it out of place. His head can look right, left, down and up. Arms can come up to a nice T-pose. He's got this gap I mean, there's armor here at the top of his shoulder that is attached to the top of his bicep, but he still has a bicep rotation, a bend in the elbow, just one, and wrist that rolls, roll to, rolls away like the tongue on a peg hinge. Not much of a back bend, just a little bit of a forward can rotate on that peg hinge ball joint. Now feet go forward and back. He does a, this much of a split, double bend in the knee, ankles on a ball jointed hinge. See it go forward and back. Yeah, this guy is definitely cool. So if you're looking for this guy, secondary market item. So remember, shop around, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.